Now the next on the list here is the update manager and that's the uh, probably meat and potatoes here another one that will take a little bit um, so update manager is basically like Windows update equivalent of in Linux so go ahead and hit launch here and it shows the screen here it says uh, welcome to the update manager and it says this tool provides your operating system with software and security updates so it's you know security updates so it'll apply security updates to patch vulnerabilities and keep your computer safe. Uh, software updates, so whenever you have any uh, updates to fix bugs in your computer or any updates with um, any of the software you have installed, uh, you know, new version releases and things like that. Um, and then system snapshots, it's a set of system snapshots to protect yourself from mistakes and regressions. If anything breaks, simply restore the last snapshot and we already did that in the earlier uh, setting so it says Linux Mint recommends to set up automated system snapshots and to apply all available updates this way your computer is always secure and you can go back in time and recover from any potential regression so you just go ahead and hit OK when you are done you know uh, taking in that information and then what it will do is it'll say uh, at the top here it says you want to switch to a local mirror it says local mirrors are usually faster than packages.linuxmint.com so um i personally tend to pick no on this because my internet is not really fast enough for me to notice the difference <laughs> between uh, using the uh, main site and a mirror site but it's up to you what you would prefer to do um, so I'm just going to go ahead and hit no in this case. And then right away we see this uh, message here that says a new version of the update manager is available. So that's going to be pretty common. Um, uh, you know, the, you'll see this sometimes even just as you're using the computer. Um, but uh, what this means is the update manager itself has an update basically <laughs> to apply before uh, it gives you the list of other you know uh, updates and things like that so I go ahead and hit apply the update button here and here again look at that now the familiar authentication screen <laughs> like I said you'll get used to this in Linux uh, it's the one thing that especially when I was new to it it was like really jarring because it's like man I always have to insert my password all the time but uh, but as I came to understand and appreciate it better it just makes the system that much more secure by having this uh, set up this way so and on the, as a plus, it helps you remember what your password is to log into your computer. So uh, go ahead and type in yours and hit the authenticate when you're ready. And then from there, it will update the update manager itself. And you'll get a little progress bar there. And it went ahead and moved it back where it was. But and now here we can see a list of a whole bunch of updates. Uh, when you first install Linux Mint, there's going to be a bunch of these to update um, at the start. And you can see all sorts of different software. Um, you know, some that you'll know what they are, some that you probably won't have a clue, or at least <laughs> in my case, that's how it is. Uh, but this is all install, uh, you know, uh, installed by default. And it automatically says hey we've got all this stuff that we can update so uh, so this first one will probably take a little while and it may likely prompt you to uh, reboot especially if there is a Linux kernel update um, those are the ones that almost always uh, they almost always require a computer restart and it's one of the few times that Linux actually does that because um, most of the time Linux doesn't need to restart to you know update stuff it just does it and it's good so um, so this will take a little bit but all you gotta do is just hit this install updates button um, if for some reason you weren't seeing anything here or you wanted to make sure you had uh, all the updates you can just hit this refresh and it will search again for you know available updates things like that um, but you just hit install updates and then you give it the necessary time to download all the updates from the internet, install them on your computer, and then uh, we'll come back when that is finished here. Oh, and one other thing here, it says, uh, this upgrade will trigger additional changes. It says the following packages will be installed. So this is just letting you know, um, there's like the Linux headers and uh, certain things like that. Um, it's not super significant but it's just letting you know that additional software is going to be installed as part of updating certain uh you know 
uh, of these uh, updates here on the list um, and it's just informing you like hey it's going to install you know these things but uh, to the average person is not going to be all that uh, important you know it's just like okay that's good to know and you just hit okay and it will proceed with the update so And here again, it just wants your password because again, another system crucial uh, action is being performed here with updating system. So go ahead and type in your password, hit authenticate, and the update process will begin. So when all your updates are finished, uh, downloading and installing, you will see this check mark in the middle here that says your system is up to date. Um, now you can see on the top, there's this orange bar that says reboot required. And so you have installed updates that require a reboot to take effect. And it says please reboot your system as soon as possible. So, um, so there was at least something which doesn't surprise me with that uh, large amount of updates. There was at least one that requires a system reboot before it, uh, you know, it will properly, um, you know, install and update and everything like that. So. Um, so when you do see this, it is usually a good idea if you can to just you know save whatever you're working on or whatever and uh, reboot your system. So um, to do that in Linux Mint, you just go down here to the uh, Mint menu and you go ahead and click on it. And then here we can see the main menu and I'll go through these at a future uh, video for sure. I'm go through all the stuff in depth, but the main one you want for reboot is right here, this red one. It says quit and you can see on the bottom right there it gives you a little uh, description of what each of these items are as you hover your mouse cursor over them so the quit option says shut down the computer so you can go ahead and click that and then you'll see this smaller window here called session it says shut down this system now and you have options to suspend restart cancel or shut down and so uh, in this case, you would just want to do restart the computer or, you know, shut down the computer if you plan to use it at a later point, um, things like that. You can also use cancel to cancel out of the uh, shutdown sequence. Um, if you ever open this and it just shows you suspend or cancel and it doesn't show restart or shut down, usually what happens in that case is that there are uh, updates being applied by the update manager actively and it won't allow you to shut it down right uh, during that time, you'll have to wait till the updates are finished, uh, you know, being installed and applied and everything, and then it will present you with the normal four options here. Uh, so if you ever see that and you go, wait, why can't I shut down my computer? Well, it's because updates are in progress, basically, um, actively in progress, and so you just need to wait a little bit longer before you will be able to, uh, you know, do that normally. Um, so for now, I'm just going to ignore the fact that this needs to be <laughs> restarted, uh, not necessarily recommended but um but it's okay for for this uh, purposes here if you enjoyed this video and you want to learn even more you can find my books at books to read.com slash jonathan that's books the number two read.com slash j-o-n-a-t-h-a-n